Now to Cuba's fight for freedom. A little over two weeks ago, the island saw the largest anti-government protests in a generation. And according to activists, more than 500 protesters are still missing. CNN's Patrick Ottman reports from Havana. When the largest protest since Fidel Castro's revolution swept Cuba, the Cuban government quickly struck back, carrying out mass arrests. Some protesters were forcibly detained as they chanted Patria y Vida, or Homeland in Life, the song that has become the anthem of frustration with the communist state. One of those arrested was photographer Aniello Troya, who filmed part of the music video for Patria y Vida in Havana. Less than two weeks after the protests, Troya was tried, convicted, and sentenced to a year in prison. His mother says he told the court he did nothing wrong. He said, how is this just when I haven't even seen a lawyer and I'm innocent, he says. Immediately, one of the police in civilian clothes came and handcuffed him. I said, my love, be calm, you're not alone. The Cuban government refuses to say how many people have been arrested or face trial for taking part in the unprecedented protests. An activist group put the number at almost 700. The government maintains those arrested are detained for attacking police, like in this video where protesters pelt cars with rocks. And not just for challenging the rule of the Communist Party, the only political party allowed on the island. Having different opinions, including political ones, doesn't constitute a crime, he says. Thinking differently, questioning what's going on. To demonstrate is not a crime, it's a right. But on the streets of Cuba, elite special forces commandos, known as the Black Berets, who were recently placed on the sanctions list by the Biden administration for alleged acts of repression, prevent further protests from breaking out. Many of the relatives of the people who were arrested would not talk to us on camera. They were too afraid. But some did tell us that their loved ones had done nothing other than peacefully demonstrate or simply record and upload videos of the historic protests as they took place. Odette Hernandez was arrested days after the protests, her relatives say, for posting this video of the demonstrations to Facebook that have now been viewed over 100,000 times. Among the charges she and her husband face is instigation of delinquency. Odette's cousin spoke to several people who were around Odette during the protests and told us their accounts from his home in Paris. They weren't violent. They didn't throw rocks at anyone, he says. Then special troops came to get them at their home, a commander unit with many police. Many of Cuba's top artists have criticized the government crackdown and called for an amnesty for nonviolent protesters. Amidst the mass trials, some signs of leniency, as a day after we visited his home, photographer Aniello Troya was released on house arrest while awaiting appeal. The government here, though, says it has only just begun to prosecute those who broke the law. As all of Cuba seemingly holds its breath and waits to see what comes next. Patrick Gottman, CNN Havana.